Hey guys, I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And today I'm gonna show you how to make this incredibly delicious and super refreshing cucumber margarita. And if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. Next week, I am going to Mexico for my birthday. I am so excited to get out of my house and to get some sun, sit by a pool. And the thing that I'm looking forward to most is having a margarita, maybe three a day, four a day, we'll see what happens. I love margaritas. I love all kinds of margaritas. I love blended margaritas. I like margaritas on the rocks. I like strawberry. I like regular flavor. I like, oh, I just had a mango margarita and it was amazing and I probably should do a video about the mango margarita. But today we are doing a cucumber margarita. This is one of my favorites to have by the pool because it's got cucumber and it just feels so refreshing. It's really like the perfect pool drink. We're using fresh squeezed citrus and no artificial sweeteners. Just a touch of agave will give you all the sweetness you need. First thing we're gonna do is cut one wedge out of this lime and then we're gonna use the rest of the lime later, so set it aside. Cut it the wrong way, but it's okay. What do you mean? Wait, guys, camera Ann just told me. This is not true. She said, I just cut it like this. She said, you gotta cut it like this? No, I cut it that way. But then you're cutting it against the white part. No, but you want it the sunburst. Okay, all right, all right. We're gonna test it the way she wants to do it. Okay, so I'm cutting it this way. Here, let's see what this looks like. It's like a little sunburst. Oh, and then cut the wedge out of that. I don't know if there's a... Well, I mean, I have to give it to you. The sunburst look looks a lot nicer than, than this, but I always thought you would just cut... I guess you can do it. All right, well, how about this? Guys, in the comments, do you like how Camera Ann did it? That's the sunburst way. Obviously, it looks more beautiful. Or do you like my way that just feels a little more traditional? Let us know in the comments. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna do it my way for right now, and then we'll see in the comments what people say. See, this feels like the lime wedge that most people would wanna, this, this, this. Here guys, see, this looks like the lime, doesn't this look like the classic lime wedge? Anyway, moving on. It's not really that important how you cut the lime wedge. Um, okay, now we're gonna use our lime wedge to rim the edge of the glass. We're doing this so that the salt has something to stick to. All right, now we're gonna take our glass, flip it upside down, and then we're gonna place it right into the coarse sea salt. And I give it a little bit of a wiggle, and then I do some circles with it. And the circles are super important because this is what allows the salt to bind to the inside of the rim of the glass. And when you're done, this is how it should look. Now we're gonna move on to making the drink. So I'm gonna take one medium cucumber and I'm going to peel it. All right, now we're gonna cut off the ends of this cucumber. And now I'm gonna cut it into large chunks. Let's toss our cucumber into the blender and we're gonna give it a blend. Okay. I'm actually really glad this happened because I wanted to show this to you guys. So as you guys can see, it didn't quite make it uh, to blend totally until smooth. So to fix that, we're gonna add just a splash of water and that should help move everything around a little bit better in the blender. Okay, I'm gonna add another little splash of water just to help the sides come down. And you might even wanna take a spatula and just scrape the sides off a little bit and get it to the bottom of the blender. And if you guys have a juicer at home, that's totally optional to use that instead. There we go. Now it's moving around nicely. Okay, let's see how it looks. Whoa, <laughs> spraying everywhere. Okay, look at that, that is perfect. And get a shot of that. Perfect cucumber juice. All right, now we're gonna strain our cucumber juice because we've got a lot of chunky bits and pulp in there that we don't want in our final drink. So I take a, a strainer, of course, and I'm just going to pour the cucumber juice. And what you're gonna see pretty immediately is that all the juice is gonna go right through into the measuring cup and the pulp is gonna stay on top. Uh, I'm taking a spatula here and I'm just moving around the pulp a little bit, just trying to get any last bit of juice out. Adding cucumber to a margarita is so awesome because it, it just makes the margarita taste so clean and refreshing. Now we're gonna squeeze our lime juice. We're gonna need one ounce of lime juice. I figure that's about three limes for about this size. 
All right, let's put everything together now into our cocktail shaker. So we're gonna start with our ice first. I filled the shaker up about three quarters of the way to the top. Now I'm gonna add my cucumber juice. Next, I'm gonna add one ounce of our lime juice. Woo! Almost spilled it. So close. Oh, I don't wanna lick, I don't wanna lick lime juice, hang on. Next, I'm gonna add one ounce of my favorite Don Julio Blanco tequila. You can use any silver tequila that you like, but I definitely suggest you use silver tequila. And last but not least, we're gonna add our agave. This is gonna give us a really nice natural sweetener. I'm gonna add half an ounce, but uh, the amount you add is completely to your preference. And I'm not really measuring, I'm just gonna do a little squeeze, just like that. And just give it a shake. I love using a shaker because nothing else will get a drink this cold. Look at how cold that is, frosty. It's so cold, my hand is burning. Now we are ready for the pour. So I have brought back the glass that I had earlier, the one that I did the salted rim with, uh, and I also added some ice right to the top. And now we're gonna do the pour. Look at that beautiful color. That is a stunning margarita, if I don't say so myself. This margarita looks so delicious, I cannot wait to give it a try. But before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more cocktail recipes just like it, check out my cocktail recipes playlist. Okay, let's give it a try. This is the most refreshing margarita you are ever gonna have. And I highly suggest you go to your nearest pool on a hot summer day, you make this margarita and you sip it and you just live your life. I hope you love this recipe. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video.